It's been four months since DJI updated the Mavic Mini's firmware, but a new one has arrived and it comes with some exciting new features. Hi, I'm Ashton Droning On, and if you love this kind of content, click that subscribe button. But anyway, DJI yesterday released a brand new firmware for the Mavic Mini. Firmware version 01.00.0500 appeared yesterday on the DJI website for download. And if you fire up your DJI Fly app today, it will prompt you to upgrade the firmware on your drone. It has oddly been a long time since DJI released the firmware for the Mavic Mini, so that's strange, but this one comes with a few nice surprises. It's also important to note that to make use of these new features, you will need the latest DJI Fly app as well, which is version 1.0.8. Now, just as a disclaimer, my Mavic Mini is still on its way to me from China. I've been waiting now for almost two months and it's incredibly frustrating because I'd like to have demonstrated these features, but regardless, this channel's here to inform you of the latest news. This is news, so let's talk through the features of the new firmware. So first of all, a manual exposure adjustment. Now that statement is not actually correct. And what they actually mean is that the firmware introduces manual shutter and manual ISO control, which is invaluable, especially to those of you that want to use ND filters where you need that control. What this means is that within the app now, you can change the shutter speed and the ISO, which is brilliant for improving the quality of your footage and key when you're using any kind of filter on the drone. You can access these new settings by clicking the little auto button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen when you're flying. Next, they've added some additional resolution frame rates, which is really good to see. You can now shoot at 24 frames per second in 2.7K or 24 or 48 frames per second in 1080p. This is great because it adds flexibility and 24 frames per second is a very desirable frame rate to get that cinematic look. When the Mavic Mini originally shipped, it only provided 25 or 30 frames per second at 2.7K and 25, 30, 50 or 60 at 1080p. So good on DJI for adding this much wanted frame rate. The next says that they've added manual white balance adjustment. Now that's odd because about three weeks ago, there was a DJI Fly app update, which provided that feature. So I think that this is just a cumulative update in the release notes. This is an interesting one, improved flight stability in some scenarios. Now you might remember our coverage of the Mavic Mini dropping into the ocean because of what we thought might be related to wind. I wonder if those mentions of some scenarios means wind. But regardless, we don't have any more information on that line, unfortunately, but let's just hope that the Mavic Mini is a little bit more reliable now. Another interesting one, added support to adjust the operational frequency in Ukraine. Now you might be wondering what on earth is that about? Well, actually 5.8 gigahertz frequency is banned in the Ukraine, but not just the Ukraine, in Japan, Russia and Israel, and also Kazakhstan as well. So I'm guessing that this is just simply to allow the Mavic Mini to comply with local regulations in the Ukraine. And finally, optimized remote controller performance. That's just, I guess, a routine maintenance firmware update for the controller to make it perform a little bit more optimal. So that's it on the summary of this new firmware update. It's quite exciting because this aircraft is continually evolving just as the other DJI products are as well. So that's really nice to see. Just finally, there's an important safety notice at the bottom of this firmware update. Updating the firmware can reset various main controller settings such as return to home altitude and the maximum flight distance. Therefore, it is really important when you update your firmware on this aircraft, make sure that you verify all of the important safety settings like return to home altitude. What you don't want is to take off having updated your firmware, return to home gets invoked and you crash into a tree or a house. So that's our summary of this firmware update. Very exciting. Comment below with what you'd like to see next on the Mavic Mini. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're still waiting for yours to arrive like we are. And of course, click that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching.